let's go over this question submitted by a student in radiation therapy school. So the question reads, a patient is to be treated with 6 MV and at a depth of 6 CM. The linear accelerator is calibrated to 100 SAD. The patient has a separation of 26 CM. At midplane, the field size is 12 by 12 CM. What is the field size at the patient's skin? So right off the bat, when we're looking for field size at different distances, we are going to use a direct proportion. Now direct proportions will compare similar triangles. But what does that really mean? So this is an example of a linear accelerator, what's used to treat cancer. As the beam is coming out of the treatment head, it's coming out in this triangular direction. Instead of a forward straight direction, it's coming out as a triangle. So that means as the beam gets further from the source, the beam is spreading out more. So the field size will be larger, considering that the collimator setting stays the same. So if we were to measure the field size at this point, it would be much smaller than if we measured the field size at a greater distance. So knowing this, we can start this direct proportion. So there are a few items on this question that we actually don't even need. So the patient's treated with 6MV. We don't fully need the beam energy for this equation. Now, sometimes the depth is important, but the most important part here is the separation of 26. That is going to help us determine what the SSD is. Now we know the field size is 12 by 12 at 100 SAD. So now let's first find the SSD. When we're talking about separation, we are talking about the distance from this anterior part of the patient where the beam would enter to the posterior part of the patient where the beam would exit. Now this is an axial slice of the patient's anatomy. So this is what you have to keep in mind, this visual, when you're solving these equations. So in this equation, from this top point to this bottom point would be 26 centimeters. So I'll we'll write 26. But we're treating at midplane. Midplane means directly in the middle of a patient. So we need to find the distance from the entrance point to the isocenter, which is in the middle of this 26. So in order to find this distance here, we're going to take 26 and divide it in half because we said we're treating at midplane or in the middle. Once we do that, we'll get 13. So this distance is 13. Now the linear accelerator is calibrated to 100 SAD and this is our isocenter where we are treating. So this distance here is 100. Now in order to find our SSD, we will take 100 and subtract 13. And that gets us 87. So let's recap. We know our field size at this point, which is 100 SAD, is 12 by 12. So we can say our field size 1 is 12. Now, this is a square, so we can only use, or we only have to use one of the field edges. If it was a rectangle, we would need to use both and separately. Now, SSD1 is 100. We're looking for the field size. So field size two is X. SSD two, we just solved for. 
and that is 87. So really, what we did here is set up the direct proportion. You can set up direct proportions in a few different ways, and that is true for a lot of math. So math can be done in many ways, but as long as you solve for the right answer, you're doing it the right way. So I'm going to show you the way I like to do it, and then if you have a, a way you prefer, you can always do it your way as well. So we're going to solve for field size two. So what I would do is on the left side of the proportion, I would put the field size one on top and the SSD on the bottom. So we're comparing what we know. We know the field size is 12 by 12 at 100. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to look, I'm going to write what we're looking for. So field size two is on top. So we did field size on top on the left. So we have to do field size again on the right. Then we also did SSD on the bottom on the left. So we have to do SSD on the bottom on the right. So these have to match. We did field size on top, field size on the bottom. Sorry, we did field size on top, SSD on the bottom. And then we also did the ones we know on the left versus the ones we're looking for on the right. So we keep everything together in their own ways. Okay, so now with direct proportions, we need to solve for x. How do we get x by itself? So we need to cross multiply. We can do 12 times 87 and then 100 times x. And it doesn't fully matter which side of the equal sign you put either one on because it will solve the same way either way. Okay, so when we do 12 times 87, just entering it in my calculator, I get 1044. And on the other side, I'll do 100 times x. We don't know x yet. Next, to get x by itself, we would divide both sides by 100, which would cross it out on the right side. And if I do 1044 divided by 100, I'll get 10.44. So we solve for our field size. Now we said this was a square, so we only have to solve one time. So that means the square here is 10.4 by 10.4. Now let's recap again. We said at this further distance, say this is 100, our field size was 12 by 12. Now we're looking at a closer distance, which is about 87, and our field size is 10.4. Now this is not drawn to scale, but it just shows you what I was referring to before. So since we're looking at a distance closer to the source, because of beam divergence and how it's a direct proportion or a similar triangle, the field size is going to be smaller. And you want to double check this theory before you submit an answer because that will help you determine if you plugged in your answers or your numbers the right way. So we did in this case, if we got a larger number, it wouldn't add up or make sense. So this is a great way to double check yourself.